welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today I'm going to take you on a thrift with me journey. The thrift stores are finally open in Toronto and I was able to go in and there were quite a few things on the shelves. So I got a little bit of footage and I got quite a few things to show you. Please don't judge some of these things by the way they look. I had a lot of DIY ideas in mind when I picked these up. So those DIYs will likely be in some separate videos. If that's something you're interested in, please follow along and let's get started. Okay, I got two humongoloid bags of things to show you. I'm gonna unwrap them all and we'll go through it together. So the first set of items I got that I wanted to share with you is frames. So frames you can get really cheaply at the thrift store. I tend to do that before I wanna buy a new frame because you can always DIY them and spray paint them or just paint them with a paintbrush and acrylic paint. You can really make them look a lot better for a fraction of the price. So I ended up getting three of these. And these are actually from Ikea, I realized. I really truly got them for the picture. No, in all seriousness, um, I got them for the frame. I really like the wood frame. What I'm gonna do is either consider spray painting these or painting them with a paintbrush, um, or even just leaving them this way and swapping out the pictures, of course, with some of my own art. Next, I got this darker wood frame and it looks a little bit worn out, I see that. But of course, as mentioned, I'm probably going to paint this uh, either white or maybe even like a nice gold color. We'll see what room I put it in. That will probably determine what color I paint it. But that was only $1.99. Next is this teeny little frame with this small picture. I'm not too sure exactly where this is. It does look really nice on its own if uh, this picture is to your taste. I probably will swap it out with a very, very small botanical print that I created. But I just thought this was like really vintage looking and definitely something that would be more expensive if you saw it in a store. So this was actually a little bit steeper. It was $4.99, but I could definitely justify it. So Valley Village is a thrift store I go to and that's in Toronto, Canada. And they often have a section with all these little bags that they put together with some knickknacks. So often you'll find smaller frames in there. So I picked up this little bag. I didn't actually pick it up for the frame that was at the front. I'm not a huge fan of silver, although uh, the design is pretty cute. So I'll probably end up painting this one as well. But I had taken a peek at what was at the back and I couldn't really see it, but I knew that just from seeing it a little bit, I really liked it. So look at this. It almost looks like a little olive tree branch. So that little baggie alone was just $2.99 for two different frames. So really, really good deal. So next are some little knickknacky things slash some kitchen items. So I got this little milk pourer and I had gotten something like this in a previous visit to the thrift store, but since we serve cream and milk, people did have different preferences. So I thought I would have one for each. And this is definitely ceramic. I just like the simplicity of it nice ivory color and this was $3.99. I also got this peach pink bowl and I was completely drawn to it because I actually picked up a plate that is probably the twin sister of this bowl uh, just a few months ago 
not from the same thrift store. So it's really interesting to find uh, a perfect pairing. So this was $3.99 as well. And I like how it matches my plate that I shared in my previous thrift video. If you haven't checked that out yet, please feel free to do so. So this one is a little bit of an unusual purchase for me, but I see myself doing something with this. So this is actually a little tiny mirror and it has, well, it's a sun and it has the moon and some stars. Very galactic look. The color is really interesting. It's this metallic blue green and can be likened to what I used to wear on my eyelids circa early 2000s. But I would definitely spray paint this a gold or a black or a white. That's definitely my color scheme. This reminds me of something you would see at somewhere like Urban Outfitters for at least 30 to $40. And this was only $1.99 and it's an easy thrift flip. Next are plant pots. I love indoor plants, whether that's real or fake, and I just think they really bring such vibrance to a room. So I picked up, first off, this black one here, and it has some scuffs. I'm pretty sure this faintly says change on it, and someone's name, so I think this was somebody's piggy bank, perhaps, but now it's going to be used <laughs> as a plant base. It was only $2.99. I do like the black color. I just want to polish it up a little bit. So I might just spray paint it black again or perhaps another color we will see. Another tip is if you see something and you really like the texture, but you don't like the color, you can easily change that. So look for texture before you look for color. We can definitely speak to that with this beautiful vase. So I was really drawn to the leaf pattern. This is easily fixable. You do see that there are some imperfections, but I can go and add some white paint to this, make it look new again, and then you can put a beautiful bouquet in it. And finally, I picked up a trio of different terracotta planters. These are not that expensive normally, but I thought what I could do is do a few, again, DIYs with these. I wanna paint them, add different designs to them. So they were only $1.99 each. There's actually still dirt in this one and it definitely went all over the place. But I guess it's contributing to that rustic look, right? So that is everything I picked up at the thrift store today. Please let me know in the comments below if you liked what you saw or if there's something that you're particularly looking for when you're able to go thrifting again. Thank you so much for tuning in and until next time, bye for now.